G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the Nightcore MH40 GTR Hunting Torch. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so this is what we're looking at today. It's not just the light itself, but it's also the hunting kit. So, that's how the hunting kit is going to look when you open it up. And inside it, we're gonna start with a holster. So this is a nylon holster, nice Velcro there. And that's how the light's gonna sit. So uh, that's gonna go on your belt here. One thing I love about Nightcore holsters is that they have a metal loop there, not a plastic one. That is a big plus for me. And so far I've only seen Nightcore do that. So that's, that's awesome. Now, very strong Velcro here, but also a second loop for your belt. Fantastic. You will get your Nightcore MH40 GTR user manual and you will get a warranty card. Now, this warranty card is only gonna come if you buy this light from an authorized dealer. If you buy this light from a gray market, it's very unlikely you'll get a warranty card, and even if you do, it's gonna be very difficult to uh, use that warranty card if, if something goes wrong, because some gray markets are very, very difficult to reach out to. Now, here you'll have a pressure switch. So, just to show you, you remove the tail cap completely when you want to enable the pressure switch and the pressure switch goes on just like a tail cap. So it's gonna be very secure. There we go. Now, if I just get this in film. So the button here, press and uh, just press and that is going to be your turbo and off. So on, turbo, off. Now, there's two buttons, here. there's three buttons here. They all do the same thing. So, momentary, momentary, momentary. So when you attach this to your, to the stock of your rifle, let's say, uh, you have the ability to momentary the light and then let go, momentary the light and then let go, or constant on. Very, very cool uh, pressure switch, that. Now, another thing I love about this light is it actually comes with a pocket clip. So you've got two spare O-rings plus a spare rubber clicky, which is great to see. But to have a pocket clip on this is fantastic. So that goes right there like that. It is a very, very sturdy pocket clip, I must add. And that's awesome if you don't want a holster because you can still clip that to your belt. That's really, really cool. Love that about this light. Now, here we have your rifle mount. So... If we look here, you unscrew that, you put one end over your rifle, the other end over this, maybe there, there, wherever you want to put it, probably there, uh, and then tighten it up. And then, let me just get that back in, and then it's going to be mounted like that. Rifle goes here. Sensational. Now, this is cool. So, not only do you get, obviously, a wall charger, right? So, that's your wall charger, and I'll show you where to charge it uh, in the light in a moment but you also get a car charger. So you can pop this in your car and leave it in there or your truck or your ute or whatever, and that you know you're always gonna be able to charge this light, so you put it on charge on the way to your hunting trip. Uh, you can charge several different batteries uh, with in this light as well. They don't have to be night core batteries, which is really cool. So that's sensational. Now, let me just show you. Unscrew the neck, so you hold the head, unscrew the neck counterclockwise, you'll expose the uh, charging port, Stick this end straight in there. And you actually need to have the light on when you're charging. So if you don't have the light on, the little LED is gonna flash red really quickly. But if you do have the light on, it's gonna flash slowly. And when it's flashing slowly, that means charging is happening. If it's flashing really quickly, it means no charging is happening. So you need to uh, click the light on. All that means is once you disengage the charger, the light's gonna come back on. So don't let that surprise you. Now, you just screw it all the way up and you're good to go. Water resistance is now intact. All right, so now taking a look at this guy up close, very, very nice light, very tactical looking light, absolutely brilliant, typical night core. Now, down the end there, you have a Cree XP-L High V3 LED. It's gonna give a maximum of 1200 lumens and that's what that is right there. Uh, obviously, you have a, a smooth reflector, very smooth. 
And you have a uh, raised edged bezel here looking very tactical. You have amazing heat sink areas here which do a really, really brilliant job. Uh, I have reviewed this in some comparison videos and this thing doesn't get very hot at all. It is just phenomenal. For a hunting light, this is friggin' brilliant. Uh, now the body is very comfortable, very smooth. You can hold it like this when the light's on, but the only, uh, the only way you can actually operate this light is from the tail switch. So, uh, you, but you can also hold it like this, although it will get a bit heavy because the head of the light is much heavier than the body of the light. Now, as you can see, it comes with a uh, tactical ring to help you hold it like this if you want to. And you've got two raised edges here to attach a lanyard, but also really good for protecting this rubber clicky. And I wonder, it will also tail stand as well. Not that you'd use this light for tail standing, but it could be helpful if you're using SOS, which this light does have. Now the UI on this light is really awesome. I love it. So it's very, very simple. With a tight head, so you tighten the head, very tight. Every time you momentary or constant on the uh, the tail clicky, you're gonna get your, your highest output, which is 1200 lumens. Now 1200 lumens is gonna last you two hours and it's gonna reach 1004 meters because it is pushed out by 252,000 candela. So again, uh, this light doesn't get very hot uh, and I will show you in a heat test, but this light doesn't get very hot So I honestly reckon that you might get this output for the whole two hours, which is just fantastic I could be wrong, but if I had to guess I would say you would get this output for the whole two hours Now if you want other outputs you simply loosen the neck just a bit Now you're going to have access to high medium low strobe and SOS. So what are we in first? Okay, so we're in low Low mode is 15 lumens, you get for 140 hours, specced to reach 107 meters. Now if I off and on, it's gonna cycle around to SOS. So SOS is 1200 lumens with an unspecified time. Off and on is strobe, which is also 1200 lumens. Off and on is high. High is 380 lumens, which you'll get for six hours and 15 minutes. Spec to reach 533 meters, pushed out by 71,160 candela. And medium there is 100 lumens for 27 hours. Brilliant 100 lumens. Uh, brilliant medium mode, I should say. 100 lumens for 27 hours. Man, that's fair. that's just off its head. Uh, and that is spec to reach 280 meters, pushed out by 19,640 candela. And then we go to low and it just cycles around. SOS, strobe, high, medium, low. Cool thing about this is what you're, when you're in any output, all you need to do is tighten the head. Oh, all you need to do is tighten the head and you've got your, your turbo mode back and then loosen the head, goes back to what you were in before. So very, very easy, tighten. And anytime you click that tail clicky momentary or constant on, you are gonna get your turbo of 1200 lumens, which I love. Now this light is specced to survive a one meter drop and it is specced to IPX8, which is two meter water submersibilities, meaning that uh, this, this, uh, this screw in to expose the charging port is actually really, really water resistant. And there you can see the O-ring just at the end here as well. So that's probably why. Also nice to get a spare O-ring that size as well. Fantastic. Now this is, uh, the length of this is too big for my calipers, but Nightcore says that the length of this is 257 millimeters or 10.12 inches. The head diameter is 70 millimeters or 2.76 inches. The tail diameter is 25.4 millimeters or one inch. And the weight of this is 374 grams, but it does not specify where is that, uh, whether that is with the batteries or without, so I'm not sure. Now, this light is also compatible with uh, CR123s, three volt, you put four of them in there, or for uh, rechargeable CR123s, uh, three to six, 3.6 to 3.7 volts, but you cannot recharge the rechargeable CR123s in this light with the, with the charger. So you can only charge 18650s, but it will take any lithium ion 18650, just make sure they're button top. All right, now if we have a look at the beam profile on the wall there. So the great thing about this light is that it does have a lot of bleeding. Although for my personal preference at a distance, which you'll see in the night shots, the, uh, the, the hotspot becomes a little bit shadowy or, or milky for my taste. 
Uh, I, I do like a crisp hot spot at a distance, whereas this one kind of blends in too much with the bleeding for me. That might be a preference for other people. For me, it's not, that's all. But while we're here, let's do a heat test because I will show you that this light does not get very hot at all. So it's been on turbo for a while already and I'm just going to smash the uh, thermometer here, leave it on for about a minute, minute and a half, and let's see how it goes. All right, so look at that, 30 degrees Celsius. It's just, it's nothing, man. This is not even warm at all, really. It's not even warm. It's the same same temperature as the body. So what that tells me is two things. That tells me that the heat sinks are doing their job phenomenally, phenomenally, but it also tells me that this light is probably likely to sustain its 1200 lumen output for the entire two hours that it's spec to sustain it for, which which makes it a it makes it a top range hunting light. It really does. If you can sustain that output for two hours, because you know you've got the O lights and stuff, which they start off really really high, but then they drain quickly. After, well, quickly after about you know five to ten minutes, like the Javelots, that is. Whereas this man, I reckon this will sustain twelve hundred lumens the whole time. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong with that, but I honestly think it would sustain it for the entire two hours, which is just fantastic. Uh, so if it can, well done, Nightcore. But even if it can't, well done, Nightcore, because this is a bloody beautiful torch. All right, let's head outside and see how it does at night time. Then we'll come back for some final thoughts and prices and where to buy this beauty. See you in a sec. Okay, so here's the Nightcore GTR MH40 GTR. That's the lowest output there. So not too bad. And then off and on, that is SOS. Wow, that SOS really gets there. Nice. Now, off and on strobe. Yuck. Off and on high. So that's high. That's not turbo. That's high. Still getting to the back there. Off and on medium. Off and on low. Okay, but that is your turbo there. So I just tighten the head and yep we are getting to the top of that tower no problemo getting to the back of the fence there no problemo sorry about the wind go away that's awesome very nice spotty there's the beam there Yeah, no, uh, no issues with this light at all. Really, really cool. Love it. Good amount of spill. You can see everything in my peripherals. It's great. Well done, Nightcore. All right, see ya. Right, so the night shots speak for itself. That it's a very, very capable hunting torch. Absolutely. I, I do. I do wonder about this milky kind of uh, shadowy hot spot. It's it's a it's it, I'm sure some people like it, but it's not my cup of tea in terms of uh, performance. So I definitely love the light. I love the UI. Absolutely love the UI, and I love the accessories that the hunting kit comes with as well. I think that. You know, for a hunter, you've got everything you need in that in that kit. It, it does have more than some other hunting kits that I've seen. But you know, just when, when you when you shine this at something, and you know, you, you see the kind of uh, milky the uh, the softness of the hot spot. For me, that's not very pleasing on my eyes compared to when it's like boom, you know, just very very tight and and. Uh, and crisp hotspot. So that's probably my only gripe about this light is the, is the hotspot. Everything else is perfect. The color temperature I love, the, uh, the length of it, the design, the feel, just brilliant. The UI, as I said, amazing. Uh, love this onboard charging. I'm not usually an onboard charging type of guy, but this one feels very secure and very tight. 
And I love the fact that it can use any any 18650s as well, which is fantastic. That's so good to know. You just bring a bunch of 18650s with you and this thing's gonna go forever. So really, really like this light. Do recommend it. Now you can get this from lightshop.com.au. It will come in at uh, 289.95. So I'll link that. And that's for the entire hunting kit as well. That's not just, just the light, that's the hunting kit. Uh, so yes, I will link it and I will link a discount code as well so that you can take 10% off that. Uh, all right, that's it for me today. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.